Hello, hello, hello. Today is January 21, 2018. I want to add something to the solution of problem 24, which I posted yesterday. There is something that I said that is not correct. And that has far-reaching consequences. This was first mentioned to me by Ashish Kumar and shortly after that also by the, the guy of the name Patembra. He lives in Nepal. I have to make a correction and I thank them for pointing this out to me. Are you ready? Here we go. This is the circuit with five resistors. A battery R, 2R, 2R, R, R. And the question was for you to calculate these values I1, I2 and I3. I did that in the way that always works. We call that the brute force way. We see that here. I use Kirchhoff loop rule in all three closed loops. In this one, in this one, and in this one. And that easily sets up these three equations. I will not go over them again because you can watch my solution of my first video. You'll find then that I1 is 3 sevenths V over R, and this is 3 sevenths. I2 is 2 sevenths, this is 2 sevenths, and I3 is 5 sevenths V over R. Notice that I1 and I3 minus I2, I1 is going through this resistor, I3 minus I2 is going through this resistor, that these two numbers are the same. I1 is 3 sevenths, I3 minus I2 is also 3 sevenths. Also notice that the current through this resistor, which is I3 minus I1, is also the same as I2. So, so far so good. I then made a statement a little later in my solutions that even if you change this value 2R to any other value, that you would still find that the current through here would be the same as the current through there, and that the current through here would be the same as the current through there. And that is not true. You can see that very easily. <laughs> I hate myself for not having seen that immediately. Suppose you make this resistor infinitely large. So this is not there. You break it open. Then clearly the current through here will be zero. So I2 will be zero. But the current through here will obviously not be zero. So it's clear that my statement that regardless of this value, this current will always be this current and this current will always be that current, is wrong. Let's first solve the problem in the brute force way for which we use that this 2R resistor becomes 5R, because I mentioned that in my solutions. If you make that 5R, then the equations here remain the same, the only difference is that this 4 becomes a 7. You can solve this now, you have again three equations with three unknowns, and you will see here the results. I hope you can see this. So, the results are, if we make that resistor on the upper right 5R, we find these values 
for I1, I2, and I3. And we found that by using Kiershoff loop rule in those three closed loops. Now, when the resistor was 2R, remember I1 was I3 minus I2, but that's no longer the case. And when this resistor was 2R, I2 was also I3 minus I1, but that's no longer the case. Therefore, it's clear that if that resistor in the upper right is 5R, that the current through the lower one left, that the current through this one is no longer the current through this one, and the current through this one is no longer the current through that one. And that was pointed out to me first by Ahish Kumar and by Tamendra Nepal, in Nepal. So now I want to say a few words about why I made that wrong statement. I showed you what I called a super solution. It is exactly the same circuit that you saw before, but now I choose two closed loops, the red one and the green one. In both loops, I use keys of loop rule, and what do I find? I found the exact same results that I found before using the brute force method. And I then jumped to the conclusion, looking at these closed loops, that therefore the current through here must always be the current through there, and the current through here must always be the current through there. That's wrong. It can easily be shown, and it was actually uh, Tabendra sent me very nice solutions, and he derived, which is not very difficult by the way, but he derived that this method, which a posteriori assumes that this current is that one, and a posteriori assumes that this current is this one, that method only works and I challenge you to prove that, it's not very difficult. It only works if this resistor has the same value as this one, and if this one has the same value as this one. Both conditions have to be met. And I was just so lucky when I used that super solution, that happened to be the case. 2R, 2R, RR. So now I have to make an important admission. The fact that I got the right answer with this super method, in a way, was a stroke of luck. It was a stroke of luck because it so happened that this resistor is the same as this one, and this one is the same as that one. But I could not and should not have a priori assumed that the current through here is the same as the current through there. That was a wrong assumption. And therefore, I now have to state that my second super solution, super solution is wrong. It's only wrong because it implies that you already know the answer that this current is the same as that one and that this current is the same as that one. And that happens to be the case for our problem. But it's not the case if you change one resistor, for instance the 2R1, to 5R. So, with my heartfelt thanks to Archis and to 
the pen drive. I hope I've cleared this up. So I withdraw my super solution. I stick to the forced brute, the forced solutions. Brute force solutions. They always work. Several of you pointed out that there are other solutions. Yes, I know there are. Feel free to use those. Use Google if you want to. I prefer now to not further confuse you to just stick to the brute force solutions. They always work. Maybe a little time consuming. But they always work. You're always safe. And the brute force solutions with that resistor being 5R, I just showed you. It's not that much work, probably 15 minutes. Okay, take care, have a nice day. I'm going to post, probably on Friday, a very special problem because a very special day is coming up shortly, which is my birthday. So it will be, will be a special birthday problem. Yeah, I think I will post that on the 26th of January. You may love it. It is so special that it is a special relativity problem. <laughs> okay. Good luck then. Take care. And let's be friends. And my apologies to Ashis, with whom I in the beginning even argued. I shouldn't have argued. I should immediately have said, yes, of course you're right. Okay, Ashis, please accept my apologies. Bye.